Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm part of the team at South Point and I was asked to give my testimony. So growing up, both of my parents were Sunday school teachers, which meant we were at church every Sunday and you were going whether you liked it or not. At the age of nine, I was baptized. It wasn't until the weight of societal pressure started to creep in that I started to become distant with God and instead of running to Him and asking for forgiveness, I let that be a barrier in our relationship. So it wasn't until during college through FCA I got connected to a local church plant. There I realized the difference and learned the difference of this rule-based religion and a relationship with Christ and how differently that played out in daily life because there I was challenged by how you honor God every day, not just on Sunday and serve Him on Sunday, but in all of your relationships, so in your marriage, with your family, uh, with your brothers and sisters in Christ, and also at work. There I also had the wonderful opportunity to have some amazing discipleship relationships where I started to dig in and learn more about who God is and what His Word says. And I believe it's Jen Wilkins who says, the heart cannot love what the mind does not know. So I came to see that so much of my earlier relationship with Christ was immature and it was just based on feelings. And while feelings are good, you have to have the truth in your heart to anchor you back when life gets hard and when it seems like the lies of the world are starting to seep in. So. Um, that was fundamental because it changed the way I was viewing the world and I just realized that whether or not I was going to acknowledge God that he was going to be there and he just so relentlessly pursues us that he's always there and he's just wants us to acknowledge him and not to reject him every day and um, it also helped me be more grateful because I realized, you know, I don't have to do this on my own. So every situation I was looking for where God was going to show up, whether or not it was the way I imagined it would be or not. And to be honest, I was a little hesitant to share my testimony because I don't have the one moment where God swooped in, changed my heart like that, and I never looked back. And he does that for some people, which is wonderful because that's what they need and that's what their heart needs. But I think that knowing how stubborn I am, if I had known how far God was going to bring me, I was going I would have dragged my heels the whole way. But instead he used just little decisions every day to push me to grow closer to him. So I think there's value in all of it. But I would challenge you this week to look for where God is showing up in your life. It could be time in the Word where you feel that He is really speaking to you, or it could be a song that touches your heart. Or perhaps the most challenging would be to praise God and celebrate Him when you receive the answer no to a prayer because you believe that He's going to give you a better yes. Have a blessed week.